restaurant here on the Sunshine Coast, takeaway restaurant, and we are super excited to be part of the Switchy Fish campaign. Today we're going to show you guys how to jazz up an amberjack. Righto guys, so the boys and I are out there sound the water, we've got a couple of amberjack, we've also got a couple of other alternative species that we'll show you in later clips. This one here, we're going to do a seared amberjack poke bowl. Now this is super simple, anyone can do this at home, all you need is rice, fish, a blowtorch and a bunch of really fresh ingredients. I'm going to come down now, we're going to knock the skin off this amberjack fillet, so I've just taken one side off the amberjack fillet, we're going to knock the skin off it. And we're going to get it into the ices. So you just want to run the knife, wiggle your skin back and forth. That'll give you a perfectly thin, perfectly skinned uh, fillet. Come back over now, we've got a lateral line here. Whenever you're dealing with sashimi grade fish, you want to take out the lateral line. We're going to take that out. That's also going to take out your pin bones. So we're going to use this top loin. But normally in sashimi, when you're sashimi fish, you use the top loin. We're going to come across into here. That'll probably do us for this amount of, uh, for, for one bowl. So we're just going to put this into dices. And then Sean is going to sear it for us. We've got the dice hand back here. I'm going to hand you over to Sean. He's going to show you how to sear it. Uh, so what we start off with, just chuck in the bowl here, and we're going to pop a little bit of ponzu on there. So the ponzu is a citrus infused light soy, just protects the fish a little bit and adds a little bit of extra flavour and caramelises it a bit better. Just a touch of that, and we will add some more later. So hey, Sean, these blow torches, you can get them just at kitchen shops, yeah? Yeah, any kitchen shop will have gone pretty much anywhere. We got ours from Kitchers in Cumberland. They're a nice big guy, you probably won't need something this big if you just sear it at home. Alright, so now we just pop it right up in the middle, which is great. Just get all that nice caramelized juice is coming down and it'll get all the way through the bowl. Pop it right up in the middle there. Okay, so it's just passed me the seared fish. So basically what we did, we just put a seared layer around the outside. That's just going to give it some smokiness and a bit more texture. It's still raw in the middle. So right here we've got a bunch of fresh ingredients. You guys can do whatever you like. I'm pretty spoiled for choice here at the moment because it is a shop. We're going to move through. We're going to do some fresh cucumber. Avocado, always avocado. We've got pickled ginger. Pickled ginger is an awesome way to sort of get a big burst of freshness into your dish. Chili, now I love chili. Sean loves chili. It's always chili. We all, like, we all love chili. Some shallots. Or spring onions, a bit of red cabbage for a bit of colour and a bit of crunch. Poke bowls are all about like an alchemy of flavours. It's all about those five elements of flavours. You've got your salty, your crunchy, your fresh, your seared, your warm, your cold, that whole, that whole flavour profile basically. We've got some edamame beans and some wakami. This is a seaweed salad, it's basically a pickled seaweed salad. It's really delicious. It might sound a bit sus, but it's really good. Now we're going to move over to putting some herbs on. Actually, we'll do the sauce first. So as before, you saw Shani put the ponzu on. Ponzu is a citrus infused soy sauce. Basically what it does is it lifts the dish. It acts, we use it as a salt in this shop. So it's like putting salt and pepper on basically. So we're just going to hit some of the rice and some of the greens with the ponzu. And we're going to go a sesame tahini on this. This is a sesame tahini based mayonnaise. The stuff is good. You can make this by getting some sesame sauce from your supermarket, adding some Japanese mayonnaise into it and some tahini. Now we're going to move through and put some herbs on it. Herbs are a great addition to a poke bowl. They add a massive burst of flavour and freshness. They also make it look really nice. Okay guys, we're going to finish this off with a bit of tobacco. This is flying fish roe. That's going to give it a little bit of texture. We also finish off with a bit of fried garlic here and there. For a bit of crunch. That there, ladies and gentlemen, is a seared amberjack poke bowl. Sean and I whipped up. Guys, 
Again, the Switch Your Fish campaign, it's an awesome campaign. Go out there, challenge yourselves, switch your fish, challenge yourselves with your cooking, and try something different. Let's go out there, eh? Yeah. Let's do it.